it is well known that drunkenness runs in families. Okay, so it is observed to be a remedy for alcoholism in families. Which is the other remedy? Syphilinum. Hereditary alcoholism. So you see, it is one of those remedies uh, that is uh, similar to nozzles, no? Never well sings, complaints keeps relapsing back, keep relapsing back, uh, hereditary this. Uh, <clears throat> so it comes very close to nozzles. But I want to tell you one more thing. It's actually skipped my mind. I told you about this de detoxification, no? Because of which there will be this what relapse of symptoms, periodicity of symptoms, all that. You know, uh, Doctor Otto Warburg, Ward huh? He received a Nobel Prize for demonstrating that. Cancer cells can happen or cancer cells are formed only when there is a hypoxic environment for the for that particular cell. Okay. That hypoxic environment is created if there is a lot of toxins that have accumulated around that cells which do not allow nutrients to enter in. And this toxicity does not allow good amount of oxygen and nutrient to be supplied to the cell. So, in an adaptive mechanism, this cancer, this cell becomes cancerous. So, it starts surviving at a lower nutrition, lower oxygen, hypoxic environment. So, it starts reacting to that kind of environment, and that is how cancer is. Cancer cells are formed. If only we can supply these cells with good amount of oxygen, nutrients, huh? then they, and detoxification, the same cancer cell will turn healthy. Okay, and he received the Nobel Prize for this. And we see all this happens in sulfur. Yes, so that is why one of the reasons why sulfur is an important remedy for cancers, cancers and malignancies. <coughs> we learnt about malignancies, tumors, growths. Sulfur both causes and cures training for ear and spirit. Yellow word is cured. Many apparently hopeless drunkards with sulfur 1M. Next, amyloplia in youthful girls with great loss of vigor, anorexia and positive state. Amyloplia is defective vision, difficulty in seeing. Discharges offensive like rotten egg. Falling out of hair came out much in the morning on combing. Profuse falling out of hair. I, I, <coughs> I remember one patient. She had. Uh, uh, she was what? 13, 14, 15 years old. Uh, 15 years old and she developed uh, very bad throat pain. Uh, so, throat pain. So, she went to one doctor, two doctor. It used to get better, but again it used to relapse. It so happened that along with that, she had very bad hair fall, profuse. Means, uh, what she said, ki mere baal pehle idha, idha tak hai. till my waist I had hair, very thick, long hair I had. But in the last one, one and a half year, I have lost so much that I can't even, what you say, usto she has to only put a rubber band. Itna hai. Only this much length of her hair is left. That is the amount of hair fall she has had. So, seeing this, the doctor suspected that you must be having hypothyroidism. Just check your thyroid levels. So, it was seen that she was having hypothyroid. Okay. 
so <coughs> so now what happened she is having hypothyroid doctor is saying that first we will give steroids to stop the this and then subsequently we'll start her on l toxin so the parent are little bit concerned yaar itne choti bachchi ko abhi se this so that is the time they came for homeopathy her main symptom was you know what that she had lot of anxiety about exam lot of exam and anxiety and she, what used to happen that when she was studying she used to study a lot and because of that she used to get tired very easily and she used to develop headache and then when she used to go to the exam she used to feel are this questions answer no i think is this okay i write it second question i am writing okay i write now what happens after i write second question third question i think the third answer is actually of the first question or the second answer is of actually of the fourth question so i get completely jumbled up and confused i don't know what is happening and then i make very very silly mistakes and i come out of the exam huh? so firstly i thought that i gave her gel cb okay exam and i do but she didn't do good so and what happened now the <coughs> again she started having that inflammation so the allopath said you have to start steroids immediately if you don't start she will land up into very bad thyroid problems you will have to give her a toxin all life i said no no give me one or two days so i study huh all remedies which have to do with study huh all remedies which have to do with okay so whatever the thyroid problem went away but this hair was left and what she said thyroid to gaya but hair fall is same hair fall is same so i asked her what are your symptoms so she said i get hair fall every day after i wash my hair so sure. every day if i wash lot of hair fall and if i comb even more hair fall so i feel i don't want to comb also and nowadays when i start to comb no i feel that my scalp is very sensitive it, it is very painful i feel i don't want to comb also very hard i, I just comb very slightly so hair fall aggravated after washing hair and while combing is sulfur now she has grown a lot of hair okay so i gave her sulfur a, a lot of her hair has come back and this symptom also i have confirmed in two or three more patients huh? hair fall with sensitivity of scalp where the root of the hair are sensitive aggravated by washing of hair aggravated combing hair okay okay so similarly you have pimples ha huh? bad pimples which will be there in play lot of heat i think heat should come out all those kinds of symptoms you will find this is one more important skin affection it is called freckles or comedones okay black heads this is also common in sulfur Okay, suppurative tendencies we learn: small abscesses and large abscesses, strictures and chronic inflammatory processes. Ah, cravings and desires. If desires for meat, we we saw that no desire for meat, alcohol, and sweets. Sweets is one more important desire that sulfur has. Ah, one important indication, especially in children, is aggravated by milk. this agrees milk great desire for sweets highly seasoned food persons who lead sedentary lifestyle confined in their rooms in study in meditation in philosophical enquiry and who take on exercise soon find out that they must eat only the simplest of foods foods not sufficient to nourish the body and they end up by going into a philosophical mania one patient ha huh? uh, what you say <coughs> uh, 
very high class patient huh? he goes and he says uh, doctor uh, you listen to all this spiritual this talks so he used to initially send me uh, whatsapp messages you know spiritual quotes all that so i said wow good all that so one day he came for the follow up and what he said he uh, doctor i have bought you some talks by osho so he gave me one huge list of all osho talks huh? i said i don't know how to take them so he called his person and he got somehow managed it to put it into my mobile so so i asked him okay theek hai i listened to some of them then what happened <coughs> i asked him what is your complaint as of now so he says my complaint is you know i have lot of uh, mucus in my chest lot of cough in my chest and because of that cough no uh, i have taken antibiotics i have taken what nebulizers inhalers all that but it is temporarily giving me relief but still i feel there is lot of mucus in my chest so what happens every time when uh, it is winter time in pune i uh, these pollens come some doctor said these pollens come because of that i have what all this problem so this time i decided i will go to london theek hai so i said avoid the pollen but it so happened that accidentally i realized that there also at that time only there is pollen now in 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 london what happened that i used to sit in the house all day because it was cold outside huh and because i used to sit all day in the house i used to read all these what philosophical books and i used to eat and i think because i i did not what you say exert i did not do any kind of activity and i was just sitting there in that room doing nothing and eating i developed my complaints so this is what is sulfur one is what you see there is profuse secretions no lot of secretions in the chest aggravated by sedentary lifestyle and eating very high season food kha pi ke must be taken no so old people when you see no aki when they feel ki abhi uh, my life to is now over so i want to now only do all this religious things read bhagavad gita all this and that's all i do nothing else i am at home reading these books i am happy i don't bother others i'm just in my own world i just eat read sleep eat read sleep if such patients develop such kind of what you say lot of mucus secretions inside the chest and especially if it is long prolonged and not healing no doctor it is 4 months 5 months not healing huh that is a very strong indication of sulfur okay so initially in these cases you may give remedies like antimtart huh or uh, what you say uh, arsenic senega all these complaints where you feel old age people with lot of mucus in chest mucus not coming out rattling in chest so you feel you want to give like these remedies but what will be missing is there will be no drowsiness of antimtar or sleepiness of antimtar there will be more alert alive and sending all kind of philosophical things doing all kind of religious things sitting there in home doing nothing if you see that then that is what sulfur centrifugal so boric acid it acts from inside out then inertia and relaxation of fiber all this we learn chilliness and shivering all over body i see coldness of genitals chill begins in toes this i did i told you this symptom profuse sour night sweat of a sour burnt odor or garlicky odor Sweat that is offensive. Perspiration from slightest motion or manual labor. 